From your startup screen, click on Open and browse to your Chapter 10 folder and open the file Chapter 10 Duct Insulation and Lining. My three most frequently asked questions about ducts are, and in no particular order, 1. Can I add insulation or lining to a placeholder duct? The answer to that is no. A placeholder duct cannot have insulation or lining added to it. This is a feature of the program. When you're working on conceptual design, there's no need for insulation or lining. Number two is can I still do clash detection or interference checking with placeholder ducts? And the answer is yes. Even though it displays as a single line, we can still do interference checking between placeholder ducts and any other element. And finally, just what the heck is the difference between insulation and lining? So here's the guide for the difference between insulation and lining. Duct insulation is an external feature of the duct. If I select a duct or tab select a duct run, I can add insulation. Here we have a default insulation type. I can give it a thickness and click on OK. And as you can see in the plan, we now have insulation around the outside of the duct. This can be seen in the section where the insulation is around the outside of the duct. Let's go back to the plan view. So lining, and if I select my duct run for lining, let's add lining. We'll use the default insulation type. We'll add this at 75 millimeters. And this has now created internally lined ductwork. Let's look at that in section. So here we have a duct. Its size is 400 by 300. But if we look at the properties, we have an overall size of 550 by 450, with insulation being 75 millimeters thick all the way around. If I select the other duct and scroll down, our 600 by 300 duct is still 600 by 300. The overall size is 600 by 300. But the free size is 450 by 150 because we have a 75 millimeter lining. So if you're using the duct sizing tools, you have to take these into consideration when using them. Let's go back to the plan view. In plan, if I want to remove or edit either the lining or the insulation, all I need to do is select the duct. Here I get the option of where I have insulation. I can either edit the insulation and change its properties from the properties palette. Notice how this has changed only one section. But if I use the tab select to select my run and then go to duct lining, I can remove the lining from the whole run. It asks me the question, are you sure you want to remove the duct lining? Yes, please. Let's reinstate the lining on that duct. Tab select, add lining, and this time I'll go for a 50 millimeter lining. We can use all sorts of filters and graphic overrides to display the lining, the insulation, and the associated ductwork in any way we choose. All of this can be done through visibility graphics. So if I scroll down in visibility graphics, here you can see that I've got duct linings and I've got duct insulations. So I can turn them off if they're not required for the particular issue that I'm doing.